Christ, our sovereign King, who is the world's salvation. All praise and homage do we bring, and thanks and adoration. Christ Jesus, Victor, Christ Jesus, Ruler, Christ Jesus, Lord, and Redeemer. Welcome. To Cathedral. I'm Father Greg Sack with special thanks again to David Jonas and Mark Teresi. Week in and week out, beautiful music. So David and Mark, I can't thank you enough for the beautiful way you team up to help provide music for this spiritual video. So thanks to Paula Klein, our director, choreographer, producer, dancer, you name her. That's um, Paula does an excellent job with the whole production bringing it together. So Paula, to my cameras right over here, Thank you very, very much. Hard to believe, folks, it's the last Sunday in ordinary time this weekend, Christ the King. And this Thursday, Thanksgiving. It's not only about Thanksgiving, it's also a life of thanks living this Thursday. And next week is the first Sunday of Advent. A little country boy named Leo pushed the family outhouse over an embankment into the river. Later that day, his father found him and asked, who pushed the outhouse into the river? Daddy, I cannot tell a lie, said little Leo, I did it. The boy's dad started spanking him. But daddy, said little Leo, George Washington told the truth when his daddy asked him who chopped down the cherry tree and his daddy didn't spank him. The father answered, Leo, you're absolutely right, but George Washington's daddy wasn't in the cherry tree at the time. <laughs> oh gosh, that is funny. I like that one. I never fail to amuse myself or crack myself up. We all know life is filled with many, many surprises, and sometimes things in life don't always turn out the way we had hoped, planned, or expected. Many times life feels like we are upside down. Think about this. When we go shopping for clothes, home items, or Christmas gifts, usually the first question we ask is, once we begin looking at the different items is, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? And a lot of people now don't shop, they do it all on Amazon, online, even there, how much does it cost? We usually look at the item and then immediately check out the price tag. We all know that nothing is free. Everything in life costs something. That's why we ask, what does it cost? The same holds true in our personal life beyond the price tag in the store. There's a price to be paid for our choices. There's a price to be paid for our choices. So it's action, consequences and there are consequences. Jesus also paid a price for being faithful to who he was and his choices in life. Crucify him, crucify him. This is the king that we celebrate, a king who gave his life for us, a king who held nothing back. This feast of Christ the King brings us to the end of the liturgical church year, and it's a very fitting celebration. We celebrate the one who rules over us, not with power, but rather with love. His rule is not one of power, but of love, mercy, and forgiveness for everyone. And there's nothing in this world we can do that God will not forgive. However, we have to be able to forgive ourselves. Jesus makes visible the invisible God. Jesus projected himself as Messiah, but he came as a serving king, not a ruling king. The way of Jesus tells us that we know who God is by looking at the life of Jesus. Christ enlarges the boundaries. God is ultimate compassion and forgiveness. What a funny king. 
The people he invites are outcasts and sinners, which means he invites all of us. Jesus makes visible the invisible God through compassion and ultimate forgiveness. Jesus is the ultimate surprise beyond our wildest hopes and imagination. God loves us more than we could ever imagine. God loves us more than we love ourselves. We are worth a great deal in the Lord's eyes. This Christ the King pursues us. This Christ the King runs after us. And the Lord believes in us even if we don't believe in ourselves. Our very lives must be the doors and windows for the light of God to shine through. For Jesus did not say, agree with me, but rather follow me. Think about it, he didn't say agree with me. He said, follow me and trust the ride that God will hold our hand. I've used this line before, but it can be said week in and week out. No matter how many steps we take away from God, it only takes one step to get back to God. And you've got to believe that with your whole heart. When Mother Teresa, now Saint Mother Teresa, was passing through a crowd in Detroit, a woman said out loud, her secret is that she is free to be nothing. Therefore, God can use her for anything. I like that line. Mother Teresa's passing by, and a woman said out loud, her secret is that she is free to be nothing. Therefore, God can use her for anything. The Lord teaches us not to fear, but rather to dare. Dare to be free and make a difference, and together we are invited and challenged to love this world back into life. In closing, in life, Jesus promises us two things. Our life has meaning, and we're going to live forever. If you get a better offer, take it. May God bless all of you. Amen. And may the Bears win this weekend. Oh